There are plenty of games on the market that promise to help you in teaching math. Math games come in many forms. There are board games, card games, online games, interactive games, math puzzles, and math tricks, etc., etc. So, how we choose the right game for the kids? Same as reading story books. Some kids like to read books about animal, and some kids like to read books about fairy tales. It is all depends on the response to the subject and the content. Playing a math game is the same. It is all depends on the kid's interest. No matter which type of games, please do not tell the kids that they are going to learn something about math. It is better to build up their interest in math implicitly and naturally. The less pressure to learn, the more effective would be the results. According to our experience. Math games should contain three major factors. Number one, fun. The game must create an atmosphere of fun and happiness, so that they like to play again and again. The best games are those that they ask us to play together with, instead of we ask them to play with. Number two, challenge. It's better to have two or more players who take turns. Each competing to achieve a winning situation of some kind, each able to exercise some choice about how to move at any time through the playing. In this sense, something like Snake and Ladder is only for introduction of counting, not a game for further development of counting. It is all because winning relies totally on chance and have no challenge. Players make no decision, nor do they have to think further. Than counting. Number three, achievement. It must be result-oriented game with clear goal to improve a certain mathematical skills. Say, for example, addition. It is better to do a small test to the kids to see whether the game can improve the skill of addition. If the games have no improvement on a certain goal. We have to find an alternative, as there are so many choices in the market.